actress Julianne Moore recently wrote a piece for Lena Dunham's Lenny letter calling for greater gun control. She wrote in part, women in the United States are 11 times more likely to be murdered with the gun than women in any other developed nation. More than half are killed by a boyfriend, husband, or someone else in her family. That is an abomination. Well, Katie Pavlich is here to straighten Julianne out. She is a woman, and she happens to have a bone to pick with Julianne Moore. Katie Pavlich is townhall.com news editor and a Fox News contributor as well. Welcome back, Katie. Hey, Kennedy. Hey, girl. Um, <laughs> so let's talk about this a little bit. I, I want to read something from Julianne Moore's argument. And mm -hmm. she says, it is not a good guy versus bad guy argument. It should not be a partisan argument. It should not be a pro-gun versus anti-gun argument. It is not an argument about our Constitution. W what exactly is she arguing for if she's not arguing for well. any of those things? Well, uh, despite what Julianne Moore says, it is a good versus bad guy argument. It is a gun control versus uh, less gun control argument, which is exactly why she's writing the article in the first place. And let's not forget that this is also part of Mayor Bloomberg's Everytown campaign that now has this new website called Singled Out, detailing all of the horrors about guns and single women, saying they pose a threat to women. But the opposite is true. Um, you know, while Julianne Moore is protected by men with guns on her red carpets around the world, yeah. uh, young women like me or other young women around the country who can't afford necessarily to have armed protection are, are protecting themselves with firearms as they should when they have to deal with violent, powerful men. That's right, and especially women in, in big cities like Chicago that uh, have seen a lot of gun prohibition. It yeah. is, uh, you know, maybe the, the one layer of defense, your own self-defense that you've got that helps you sleep at night and keep you safe. And it, it's really interesting interesting, it's hypocritical, and it, it's so paternalistic for someone like Julianne Moore to uh, to tell young women what they should be doing with their lives because she's having a difficult conversation with her 10-year-old daughter. Well, and it's very dangerous, actually, and we can joke about Hollywood being hypocritical and always trying to tell the rest of us what to do, but the fact is that women had been killed and raped as a result of gun control laws. There was a woman in New Jersey, her name was Carol Bone. She had a felon ex-boyfriend who threatened to kill her. She applied for her pistol permit, and on day 41 of waiting for that permit, her felon boyfriend came and stabbed her to death. There's another young woman named Amanda Collins who was raped in 2007 at the University of Nevada, Reno. She was carrying her concealed weapons permit the night she was rape, but she wasn't carrying her firearm due to anti-gun policies at the university. And her offender and attacker went on to rape two other women and killed one of them. Yeah. And so this has very serious consequences when it comes to young women and how they're capable of protecting themselves. And just one last point, you know, the fastest growing demographic of gun owners in this country is young women. And when you ask them the question, and polling shows this, why are they purchasing their first firearm? It's for self-defense. Yeah. They want to take responsibility responsibility for their own safety and they're doing so. And that's uh, that's one of the things that Julianne Moore takes issue with because uh, she ultimately says a gun is a machine and machines are to be operated safely. And I, I guess uh, my argument would be, well, if you're seeking out legal gun ownership for self-protection, the chances of you being a responsible gun owner are much, much higher. If right. you're the kind of person who's going to use a gun to commit a crime, Chances are none of this prohibition would apply to you anyway because you would just ignore any laws or background checks and you would probably steal again. Right, and they act, you know, this goes back to this liberal idea that men and women are completely equal in every aspect when reality and genetics prove and biology prove that men are stronger than women. So guns, again, are the great equalizer. Uh, women are capable of using firearms to defend themselves from violent rapist offenders every single year by the thousands. And for Julian Moore to ignorantly say that guns pose a risk to young women um, is just far away from the facts when it comes to what we're seeing with the data. Yeah, and you know what science also says? That women are better shots. They're, they're more true. accurate. <laughs> than it's a fact. <laughs> my brother, who's been a, a shooting instructor for a long time, he's the one who, who taught me that. So he's you, right. You go, girls. All right, uh, Katie, <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, really Kennedy. enjoyed your article, your response to Julianne Moore. Very necessary to take things apart uh, piece by piece of these flimsy arguments. So thanks again. Thank you so much.